Hi, I'm Mike from Star Structure Telescopes, and we're going to be demonstrating the assembly of a Star Structure Horizon. This is a 22 inch, and before we begin, I want to kind of familiarize you with some of the components of the telescope. This is the new rocker. As you can see, it's extremely low profile. Uh, one of the nice things about this design is we were able to keep the servo cat altitude motor contained within the width of the scope. Um, as you can see here, the wiring on this scope is extremely clean. We really uh, put a lot of effort into simplifying everything. Um, your battery compartment is up front. This panel comes off. So you can put the batteries in here. This would be the plugs for the two batteries. One would be for the servo cat, one for accessories. Uh, the other nice thing about this is the rear panel, which can be removed with these four screws. Uh, you can access anything you need to do with the mirror box still in place. So once this back panel's off, if you needed to service the motors, service the box, encoders, anything, you can get to it very easily without having to uh, remove the mirror box. On the back of the rocker we have the uh, servo cap box which comes through the cover and then we have your various plug-ins. This is for your encoder uh, altitude and azimuth encoder. This one would be for any, this is a 12 volt supply for any um, any options you may have on the scope. And then this is a retractable uh, plug and this goes to your altitude encoder. Uh, if you need to remove the mirror box and take the encoder arm off, you just simply push this back into the rocker for transport or storage or whatever. But when uh, when you have everything hooked up, this will come up to the to the encoder. Uh, you can also see in the corners we have uh, these tubes. These go run all the way through to the front. This is for your wheels and handles and podium to connect. Alright, this is uh, one of the handles, um, I'm going to just show, this uh, just goes into the back of the scope like that. It has a stop that will locate where the hole is and then you have the quarter 20 thumb screw and you just thread it right in. That would be uh, the handles, one on each side of course, and then the front wheel has the same thing, just slide it in. Hits the stop, locates the hole for you, and then you put that thumb screw in and tighten everything up. So that is how the wheels and handles go in, and it's the same on both sides. Okay, I'm going to begin uh, assembling the telescope, and I'm going to start by putting the mirror box into the rocker. Uh, for a 22 inch size, this mirror box weighs about 75 pounds, so if you have help, it would probably be a good idea to have help putting it in, it'd be a lot easier, although it is manageable by yourself. Uh, the one thing I want to point out, if you have the um, servo cat go-to system, when removing the mirror box, you're taking it out, putting it in, you want to make sure that you keep the cable tight on the altitude bearing so that it lines up with the grooves in the Teflon. In other words, if that isn't tight on the altitude bearing, you put it in, and it's not lined up with the grooves, you'll have to pick it up and then get the cable in. So it's a good idea to have it tight on the altitude bound. One nice thing about the Horizon is you can use this side lower truss mount and actually secure the cable in place. Uh, I'm going to put it on. Th this would be done before you take the mirror box out so it's already lined up with the grooves. I'm going to just give it a little pull just snug it up, you don't need to tighten it, that holds the cable perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to install the mirror box into the rocker. Also want to point out, the mirror box is weighted so that it sits in the zenith position. So, you know, if you push it forward, it's going to want to come back. So you want to kind of grab it here from the back side so it will go forward for your uh, when you put it in. So I'm going to grab it, tip it up. And then I am going to go ahead and line it up with the Teflon and drop it in. Again, our cable was located, uh, pulled tight, so it's located in the center. So if you can see right here, lined up with the groove and the Teflon. Okay, so then we're good to go. 
All right, so with our mirror box in place, uh, making sure the cable is lined up in the grooves, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to uh, put the cable onto the drive roller of the altitude motor. So I'm going to undo this, take it off the back. Now this has to go uh, two clockwise turns around the pulley. I'm going to pull this up a little bit just to give me a little more room in there. Uh, again, really nice thing about having the altitude motor here, it, it's, there's nothing in the way to put the cable on. So just one turn, pulling it tight, two turns, pulling it tight. I'm going to bring the disengage lever all the way back, put it into the spring, and that's it. When we do this, we want to make sure that we do not overlap the windings of the cable on the pulley. Okay, make sure and you want to double check that before you actually operate the scope. Now would be a good time to make sure that's correct. And that would be engaged, that would be disengaged. You'll only pull this all the way back when you want to remove the cable. So for normal operation, it's going to be approximately right there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to install the altitude encoder. Um, if you are ramping your scope into your vehicle, this assembly that we did right here will never come apart. And this can remain on the scope as well during transport. This process that I showed you would only be if you are if you need to remove the mirror box for transport. Okay, so altitude encoder goes on this side of the telescope. We have the thumb screw here for the uh, center of the altitude bearing. Uh, and then we have this here that has a nylon washer embedded into the side of the rocker and that's where the bottom part of the encoder arm goes. There's also a wire in the encoder arm. This will eventually hook up to the Argonavis podium which completes the connection to the upper tube assembly depending on what options you, you uh, got with your scope. This I am going to put into there first. This is grooved. And then I'm going to bring it up, line it up with the hole, push it in, and then I'm going to just snug up the uh, thumb screw. We don't need to crank this down, okay? And that installs the altitude encoder arm. This screw here, it's it's the groove is tight on the screw. It's not recommended to tighten the screw, uh, only just to snug it up. Uh, in other words, if anything ever happened where the mirror box uh, tried to jump up a little bit for whatever reason, this will allow the encoder arm to slide up and down uh, without uh, doing any damage to the encoder. Okay, our next step is going to be to install the mirror into the mirror box. Again, if you're transporting the scope with the wheels and handles and ramping it into your vehicle, the mirror can ride in the scope, no problem. Uh, to remove the mirror box cover, it, it's kind of odd because of the shape of the mirror box, but the hook that holds it on is actually here. So it tips up from the top and it actually hooks in the bottom. You have to kind of hinge it out. Uh, the reason that is, is because when the scope's assembled and it's sitting like this, that becomes the top. So that's why it's there. So anyway, undo it from here, take it out, and take the mirror box off. Okay, you can see the 18 point uh, mirror cell here. This is the edge support system here. We have four retainer clips, two on the edge supports and two up high here. I know it may be a little bit difficult to see in there because of the darkness. But... So before you install the mirror, you got to make sure that the clips are out of the way. Okay. And on our last video, we showed that we took the top plate off. This scope also has a top removable plate. But on the smaller scopes where the mirrors are more manageable, you don't really have to take the top plate off unless you want to. For cleaning the mirror, anything like that, yes, I recommend doing it. But if you want to, since it's an oval hole, we have plenty of room to get the mirror in. So I'm going to demonstrate it in this video, uh, not taking the top plate off. Okay, when I install the mirror, I want to come from the back side of the scope and with the top in, I'm going to tilt the mirror in, 
go into the edge support system and then drop the mirror down. So again, I'm doing it with the cover on so I don't palm the mirror. I'm going to tilt the mirror, come in like this. I'm going into the edge support system first and then just dropping it down into the cell. And that's it. I'm going to remove the cover from the mirror. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the clips, the retainer clips over the mirror like that. And that's it. There is installed in the scope. Before I continue with assembling anything, I want to put the cover on, prevent anything from falling on. Again, hook the top, let it hinge down, line it up, and poof.